It's PJ. I think I'm wearing the same shirt I wore in my last video blog, or at least a recent video blog, but to be perfectly honest, I only wear like four different shirts now in a constant rotation as I have for the last 14 months of this freaking pandemic. I am coming to you today from the garage studio, as you can tell by the very fancy wood paneling back here, and I think I might have just whacked that lamp. I am standing in front of a Shure condenser microphone, which I normally would be using on a stage when I'm rocking out with a rock band, which I haven't done in quite a while. But today, this Shure PGA48 uh, is being run through a Focusrite Scarlett Solo USB audio interface, which I recently picked up because I haven't had a musical recording interface in years. I used to have a whole studio set up, which included a nice eight track mixer and all sorts of different stuff, but that was many years ago. Something that dawned on me is that I don't even have a good way of capturing, let's say, guitar or even vocals and running them into my computer or laptop to record. So I've been in the market for an audio interface for my MacBook, which I barely use my MacBook anymore because I've been editing Parkway Broken Dreams for the last two years or so on my Dell desktop that I had built specifically for video editing, but I don't have any music recording software on there. My MacBook Pro, which I've had since, this is a 2012 model, which I think I maybe got in 2013, but I've had it that long. It's now eight years old. That's what I used to use for everything. I used to use that for video editing. I used to use it for music recording. I used to use it for uh, creating artwork. I used to use it for pretty much everything. And I kind of let it go sort of fallow the last few years because it started to get really slow. And I don't know how much of that was it just being cluttered with a bunch of files, the hard drive, a lot of space was being taken up. And also I refused to upgrade my Mac OS. I'm still running Mac OS El Capitan, which I don't know how many years ago it was that the next operating system came out, but that's what I've got. And I don't feel like upgrading it because every time I upgrade my operating system, I feel like something goes wrong. So I cleared off a bunch of space on my hard drive a few months ago, and I disconnected things like Dropbox and just got rid of all the extraneous stuff. And it seems to be going much better now, but I didn't have any sort of input device for recording music. Previously, I was using basically an analog mixer that I would run like through RCA cables to like an eighth inch jack and then plug that into an audio input on the computer. Well, the MacBook Pro I have does not have a mini jack input. It's got a mini jack output for headphones, but it doesn't have an input for audio, which I didn't realize until after, long after I bought it, because when I bought it, I wasn't using it to record audio. I had a nice big iMac that I did everything through and when my iMac died, I never replaced it. Anyway, so I need an audio interface. And I've been looking into this for a while and I've been doing some research, but I kind of was hesitating on it. I was like, well, it's not that urgent. I don't really need to get this thing. Well, I got served up one of those nice mind reading Facebook ads and it was for a Focusrite Scarlett Solo third generation USB audio interface, which I think I had looked at before as a possibility. It had really good reviews. So I click on this ad and it was actually an ad for a refurbished Focusrite Scarlett Solo USB through the Focusrite website. And it was under $100. And I was like, this seems like something that maybe I should get. It gets really hot in the garage, by the way, uh, when I do these things because there's no air circulating, um, except I guess whatever's going in and out of the vents through the garage door. And I've got this bright soft box light that's like, I think 800K going. So it gets a little toasty. Anyway, so I ended up picking up the refurbished Scarlet Solo for less with the combined price of the box and the shipping than I would have paid direct anywhere else, even through Amazon, which I don't like buying anything from anymore. And that's a topic for a, a whole nother video. It came about a week later and it's pretty awesome. I plugged it right into my MacBook Pro and immediately the MacBook Pro recognized it as a new external audio device, which was cool. The Focusrite Scarlet Solo came in a bundle with a couple of other pieces of software, Ableton Live, 
and some sort of special version of Pro Tools. I like using GarageBand on the MacBook Pro because I've been using it for a while. I already have tracks and stuff built in there and I wanted to make sure that this worked with that. So I did try to install Focusrite's essential software, uh, Focusrite Control, which I don't really know what additional features it provides beyond what the Mac native driver for it already does. But I tried to install it. I couldn't install the version that they offer by default because of course, as I mentioned, I'm running a really old version of the Mac OS, but that was easily solved by going to the website, doing a quick search and finding an older version of the Focusrite control software, which I promptly installed and then realized that it was pretty much useless. So I loaded up GarageBand and the Scarlet Solo showed up as an input device pretty much immediately, which was cool. And I set that as my input and I set the default as the output because I wanted to monitor the sound, not through the Scarlet Solo, which has its own monitoring, but through GarageBand so that I could actually hear like the effects on the guitar and all that sort of stuff. But I wasn't getting any sound through it. It was showing that it was getting the input and I could see that the Scarlet Solo was lighting up with the audio signal, but I wasn't getting anything. Always. Garage up, garage down, garage up, garage down, garage up, garage down. Well, that wasn't quite an easy solve, but I did look it up with the Googles and I found a video on YouTube that was really helpful. I realized that I needed to go into the individual track setting and not just turn on audio monitoring, which I had already done, but I needed to actually assign what bus or line that the inputs were coming in through. So once I did that, boom, it was working. And from there, I was pretty much off to the races. I spent probably like three or four hours just sitting there uh, playing guitar for the first time in like, I don't know, three or four years and recording guitar parts on audio tracks I already had set up. It worked perfectly. So next I was like, hey, let's see how vocals record. Well, I'm not recording any vocals for music at the current time, but I did have this video blog. Please tell me you're kidding. And so here we are with this Shure mic hooked up to the Focusrite, running into the MacBook Pro and recording with Audacity, my favorite shareware software for audio editing and sometimes recording. If you haven't been using Audacity and you're looking for a free audio editor, get it. It's available for the Mac or the PC. It's dope. I've been using it for literally more than a decade. And uh, I, that's all I have to say about that. So, so far things seem to be going well. If you're hearing this being a bit echoey, it's because I'm in my garage and I don't have any soundproofing. I'm standing on a rug. I do have some rubber mats that um, I usually use for working out that I didn't set up as a sound cage or anything like that right now. I'm sure I'll clean this up a little bit in post, but I want to, for the most part, leave it raw so that you can hear what the audio through the Focusrite sounds like. I don't know why I didn't get this sooner. It's super convenient. It's tiny. It's powered by the USB, so I don't need an external power for it. I can just plug in a guitar, pop on some headphones, and I can just record for as long as I want. Now I'm, I'm gonna go and record some music, and maybe one day I'll finish some new songs that I'll put out into the world that you can hear. And then maybe when this pandemic's over, I'll find other human beings to play those songs with. And who knows what could happen? Crazy stuff. But until then, I'm gonna go play with myself. Musically, I'm gonna go play music with by myself. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, thanks for tuning in.